Hi, everybody. This is Posey Marzani uh, giving a survey on regulation for the Spring Course External Governance, Professor Jan Triplett. Participants were Bob Murtha, an immigration attorney who'd owned his own business for over 40 years. In his heyday, he had as many as 10 employees. He's a member of the New York State Bar Association and the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Next is Joan Santini, a restaurateur in New York City from 1974 to 1990. Had as many as 50 employees. She owned it with her husband. Much of what she did was related to the back of the house, so her regulations were related to health inspections, sanitation, that sort of thing. Joanne Garcia is a medical director in internal medicine at Newark Beth Beth Israel Medical Center in New York, New Jersey. She has overseen 20 people recently, but in prior positions for the VA as a medical director, had up to 300. She has had compliance training. I'm the Assistant Dean for Admissions, UVA School of Medicine, and an MBA candidate. I've worked in administration and on inpatient units as a medical director, overseeing other faculty and trainees. In terms of whether or not our jobs required us to manage or evaluate government rules and regulations, we all said yes. Some were federal and state, others were federal, state, and city. Um, some of us had other certifying bodies as well, such as with medical school. We were all applying uh, GRC, uh, although sometimes we were not familiar with the term, we understood the concept. Joanne Garcia did know the term. I had learned it in the internal governance course. Uh, positives about government regulation, they provide a path to success for clients. For Murtha, it provided him a livelihood to help him navigate federal laws. Um, other people said that uh, it offered protections to customers, um, made the rules of the roads clear, gave everyone a fair shake. Negatives were sometimes that they were co conceived of entirely unreasonable, hard to achieve goals, difficult to achieve missions. Joan, the restaurateur, said she couldn't really think of anything negative, which I thought was actually quite interesting. Uh, the census, everyone thought it was important, understanding why it was important. Uh, it was important for some jobs, not all jobs, but everyone felt that the role of business was to educate on getting counted, even if as a citizen, if not a business member. When there were disputes such as related to Uber, uh, the consensus was to use the law, have a third party entity as a mediator. Um, some like me included unions formal protest petitions as well. When people broke the law, quote, fire the boss, report it, uh, to hold the employee and the boss equally responsible. And I always thought that it was important to recognize the, uh, the culture uh, related to this. In terms of climate change, everyone felt that it was important to, um, to address it. Um, some felt that they should follow the rules. Others thought that they should be leading the way. Others thought it was a combination of the two. Uh, when asked if they had ever seen conflicts between uh, government uh, bodies, um, Bob Murtha, the attorney, had never seen a conflict, neither had the restaurant work. Joanne said that the federal government had once not required vaccines for vets, but the New York State did require it. Um, and so they found a, a resolution for that. For me, with other accrediting bodies, I sometimes see conflicts as well. How do we keep up to date? We read the daily emails, we rely on administration for hospital pop, pop, uh, policies, we uh, sometimes use our accountants. Um, I'm on listservs, um, and many of us to sort of check in with our um, specific uh, agencies. The yearly cost, $100 up to well over a million if you're thinking about the Joint Commission, which has regulations such as negative pressure rooms and hospitals. The advice for others, pay attention. Use your association to keep up with regulations. Closely follow your hospital policies and emails. Have a full-time accountant. Be on listservs and get alerts from regulatory organizations. Tying this into Becky Hensley's interview, it appears that there is not a one size fits all for following the rules and regulations. Um, she noted that ignorance of the law is no excuse. People seem to agree with that. She also noted a connection to a trade association as being very important. And that is something that was as part of the theme that we picked up on. Um, and that law is often done at the lower levels, which was something that Bob Martha had noted. Thank you so much. Um, that's the end of my interview, if I can stop sharing my, my thing.